News, a unique international space station mission that just returned to Earth. Cells were sent to space. It was all part of research to study neurological disorders such as Parkinson's, MS, and Alzheimer's. Yeah, all of it is really neat. And one of the leading researchers in this field is Dr. Jean Loring. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, certainly. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Well, your cells were sent to space, so technically you've traveled on the ISS. Can you talk about the pur purpose behind this mission? Yeah, I certainly can. So uh, one of the things you can't really measure in, in on the ISS, which is uh, 250 miles above Earth, um, is what's happening in the brain. So what we did was to create these little... Um, balls of cells called which we call neural organoids that are brain like but they're not really the brain they have nerve cells in them they have um, other supportive cells in them as well so we ask uh, what happens to those cells when they spend a month in microgravity and specifically what we're interested in is in the inflammatory response of any kind of of uh, variant like uh, microgravity because Neuroinflammation underlies all of the neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, MS, and Alzheimer's disease. And what is your goal for this research? Why is it important? Well, our goal right now, because this is early days, is to find out what happens. Uh, we have a hypothesis, of course. You have to when you're a scientist. But honestly, whatever result we get will be interesting to us. We we compare cells that have been on the ground from cells uh, that we kept on the ground for a month with cells that spent a month in space. And then we ask uh, what differences are there? What, what are the effects on these, these brain-like um, organoids um, in, uh, in space, being in microgravity? And, you know, there's other things that happen, like being shot up to space in a rocket and coming down um, from uh, the space station uh, and landing in the Atlantic Ocean. And, and Dr. Loring, personally, we saw a photo of you in front of those famous doors at the Kennedy Space Center. Mm -hmm. How does it feel for you to be a part of such groundbreaking research? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, I wouldn't do it any other way. I, I love doing things that nobody has done before. And if I can't do them myself physically, I, I'm, I feel really good that my own uh, cells can uh, can travel uh, into space. All right, doctor, thank you so much for being with us today. Very cool stuff and good luck with the uh, results and everything. Keep us posted. I will. I want you to know that it's a, um, this is a collaboration with the New York Stem Cell Foundation and it's funded by the uh, National Stem Cell Foundation in Kentucky.